okay, so it's January. We're looking for things to do. Might be getting kind of the boring time of the year. But you know what? There's always things you can do, and you want to get these things done so when it becomes kind of fun and beautiful weather, you've got this done already. All right, so today we're going to look at the kitchen sink. Just various things about, first of all, inspecting the kitchen sink. This is a place where we get a little bit of water underneath the cabinets. And because of all the normal junk that we have underneath here, people don't realize this is trap material. So this would be a completely sealed pipe. Watch this. You can, if they pull right out, even though that's the proper seal. So you want to get in there and make sure there's not water because that water will either go down in the crawl space or if you have wood floor, it can really damage a floor. So kind of check that out. Make sure there's no water in there because, again, a lot of times we're not down in there looking. As far as the drains themselves, you should be doing this with all the small drains. This is this is called uh, drain, uh, drain defense. They used to be called drain care. Must have been a patent problem or something. But anyways, what this is, this is not a drain opener. This is to protect your drain and it, it a preventative maintenance. So again, the kitchen sink, the bathroom sinks, the way it works, it's pretty simple. You take a scoop of this stuff, put it down in here, and to a pint of warm water. Now, before you dump it in, you'll want to run a stream of uh, warm water down in the sink. Then you take your uh, little drain defense, mix it up real good. I'm not going to mix this up. And then you just pour it down in there. And then once you do that, you let it sit for about six hours. So doing that right before you go to bed uh, would be perfect. And what that will prevent, it prevents when you actually get a clog. Because when you get a clog, then you start doing things like this. And if you're buying a drain opener that comes in a plastic bag and has a little uh, skull and crossbones and says poison on it, Probably not a good idea. This is, I just don't recommend those. I mean, we have them in the stores. You can get them in all the stores, but do the preventive maintenance. You don't have to worry about it. Now, the other source of clogs, but a lot of smells, and then drain flies and different things in the spring is, of course, the disposal. You know, so many people dump so much stuff down in there, but there are ways that you can kind of take care of that. One, you can use, I would use the home defense on that, too, or, or the drain defense, and, and clean that up. And the last thing, if you don't want that, if you don't want to do that, you can actually buy a commercial product. You put the bag down in there. What's cool about this, it's like a, it's like a, a sci-fi movie because blue foam comes up out of the drain. So that does get rid of the stink. So something you can do on a January Sunday.